Keene State College is working closely with local businesses and the city of Keene to continue to develop biodiesel. The Rhymes Propane and Oil Company has brought production closer to the Elm City with a blending plant in Swansea. General Manager Rodney Johnson says the blending plant was built because of specific constraints linked with biofuels. Biofuel has to be blended in a controlled atmosphere, um, which is why the building was built. All of our fuel is kept indoors so that the oil and diesel fuel can be blended. Um. Keene State College has used biodiesel since 2002. KSC Garage Supervisor Mike Fuller says that all diesel equipment currently use the B20 blend. That is 20% of biofuel mixed with 80% diesel gasoline. Everything that's diesel is running biodiesel on campus. Everything from the rubbish truck, the uh, bucket truck, the loader that we plow snow with, all the small equipment, mowers and sidewalk plows, everything at the stadium for tractors. Fuller also says that any diesel engine can run biodiesel without modification. Johnson even uses it in his Rhymes company car. However, Fuller says they use different blends depending on the season. During the summer months, we try and run the B100 depending on the weather. Um, we have to be pretty careful as we keep track of the weather and temperature-wise because uh, the B100 has such a high cloud point temperature-wise that it won't run. Campus Sustainability Officer at KSC, Mary Jensen, says that grounds worker at KSC have found another advantage to biofuel. The employees here on campus have found that they can drive the vehicles for a longer period of time without feeling nauseous. Regular petroleum diesel leaves you feeling sick to your stomach after a relatively short period of time. Fuller also says that the college is trained to get a local blending plant on Ralston Street in Keene in order to produce enough biodiesel locally to power all this equipment. For KSC TV News, I'm Jan Jules. Yeah.